George was born in 1906 and Darcy was born in 1905. In 1939 they got married and soon after moved into this beautiful house. In Darcy's younger days she attended Eastbourne School where she received high class certificates, one being in cookery. These certificates are still up on the wall today. In 1944 they welcomed a son into the world who they named Paul. In 1951 online records show a chemist belonging to George and Darcy, the chemist originally belonged to George's grandfather in 1871 and then George's father who passed away in 1961. They managed the chemist right up until 1973. Paul decided to start his own business and opened up a TV shop which still sits derelict and empty on the corner of the street now. Not only was Paul into inventing, he was a big supporter of hunting. He even paid a yearly subscription to a hunt supporters club. You're probably wondering where does Paul live now, but Paul never left his family home. He always lived with his parents right up until 1977 when his mum passed away in the property at the age of 71 and his father passed away in 1995 at the age of 88. This is when he inherited the property. A lot of items belonging to Paul's parents are still left in the property today as if he was expecting them to walk right back through the door. Unfortunately, in 2019, Paul's life came to an end and he passed away at the age of 75. Right guys, uh, we will make a start in the living room. As you'll see, Megan is already in here. And this is an absolute stunning living room. As you look at this painting, that's situated above the fireplace there. And look, sort of as you come down, you've got that old school TV, which looks like an electric fire. Loving them books. Wow. And the old VHS that line down there and books are quite old wow look at this a fox's head <laughs> mounted on the wall incredible I think not seen anything like it it's got them old school lamps as well look the ones with the big shades. Uh, and as you see, as you come down, all the dust and ass on there. Crazy. To these sofas. That would have been set out with that little red puffet there. Put your feet up, watch the TV. Love these old photos. And the clock there. Wow, they are old, aren't they? Yeah. It is really, do you know what? No, I know, but if you look, if you look towards the windows, they are full of cobwebs in there. Mm. And we've got this array of pictures up there. There's one of Princess Diana in the corner. And these old pictures. What can only assume is some sort of filing system down there. With books and that in. So we're coming to the main entrance here. There's some beautiful features along here. Look at that. You got this door along here with the outhouse piece. Again, as you come across, look at that, it's really nice, quite pristine actually, fake flowers, come across, you've got the fake TV down there, I've got what you would assume is possibly a thing with a door, door system, bed warmer there. And these guys were into the hunting. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. A 
again you've got to look at another one of them lamps up there with that feature and it is absolutely incredible I must say look at that let's get that pan view here cracking home show you this uh, the old gentleman's coat and everything's still hanging up in the outhouse with the sink what we would assume is the bathroom in there I don't think you can really appreciate look at this I believe they're still hanging up as if the old boy never left and you've got an old lantern up here along with some lights as you come back into this room now you've got the barometer you've got a little horse piece up in the corner there what I didn't show you was these are these rabbit feet I, don't like I think they are Good luck. Like Looks like an look yeah, yeah, with yeah. Looks like another door system there. Look at that an old fax machine and that. I oh, know there's tons of dust on that dish. And cobwebs. Oh my god, they're bats. Are they? Oh my god, yes. Wow. No, you're not wow. They actually are as well, aren't they? Nuts. It's horrible. So we're we'll coming to the dining room. This is an absolutely beautiful house. As you'll see. Looks like it had a chest freezer for some reason. Look at that light that sat on top of it. And what I'd assume might be a microscope, some sort, or well, some sort of camera. Oh, it's Kodak Limited London. It's definitely a camera. And all them screwdrivers there. I wonder what you used to tinker about with. I'm just going to hold this up as well. Look at that. Carry on with the rest of the room here. As you'll see, look at these weighing scales. Lots of measurements and that all wrote down on them. As we come along, the old photos and trinket pieces that are on top. Again, another hunts, huntsman's picture up there. And is that an embroidered tapestry piece in front of the fire? It does quite nice, the floral. Looks like a big heavy pot there as well. Wow. Crazy. As you'll see, along here you've got like, the dining room chairs. You've got these dining room chairs that say the sun's pouring in, which doesn't help. It really doesn't help try and focus it. I can't. A bit over this side. Wow. Looks like a little speaker system down there as well. Love that writing desk. And as you'll look up here, look. another picture of the hunt. This will give you a better view of that along there. We'll show you the chairs along here, very nice. If we sit along there, you'll see the table. It is a nice table. You've got the dresser here with one of those old chairs in front and a 
again pictures of them hunting looks like a serving hatch so we'll head into the kitchen and go and have a look as you'll see I'm coming to the kitchen here quite an oldish kitchen to be fair I was expecting it to be a bit more modern I must say quite small so I've got an old heater here not sure what sort of cooker that is or oven I thought it might have been like an old oh god no a Bellina okay it's quite interesting sort of swing round so I'll show you overview of here and look, as you'll see at the top there guys it looks like a speaker I'm guessing that thing we saw earlier could have been a tannoy system. Wow. Still got some old plates and china and bowls on that in there. And as you look up here, there's your bell system. Very nice. You know what I do like? The toaster. <laughs> That's here on the wall. Oh my gosh, what am I looking <laughs> like? Where's the toaster? What is this? A Samsung Sam Jr. Looks like a little portable oven there. Wow. Boiler and that all on here. Nothing in these cupboards. There's a few little pieces in here, trays. There's a serving hatch to the other side. It had a radio in it by the looks of it. Oh, cool. Some of these nice old pieces. Well guys, we're gonna head upstairs. I just wanna show you these as we head up. Wow. You got this lovely red carpet here. It comes all the way up. We'll go down into the end room along here first, greeted by that picture, the Whistler. Very nice. And the first room, which seems pretty empty to be honest. But, wow, colour TV monitor, Roadster. A Sony tape deck, possibly radio system. Lots of remotes, little electrical pieces down there. Oh, look at that! Wow, I've got a lot of batteries, all that good stuff down here. Along with some bigger. What look like car batteries as we come up. So many old tape decks. Look at that old speaker system. Wow. And then across the other side of the room, you see that dresser there, which looks to be with clothes hanging in the wardrobe. Pre shave sunglasses very nice and what's this down here looks like another little electrical piece got the bathroom along there nice little bathroom or toilet should I say this is the actual bathroom look at that chair not seen one like that before. The old bath. Wow. It's quite dark in here. Look, you'll see the 
paper starting to peel back. And the old heater system that's there, crazy. Doesn't seem like there's much left in here though. Come through into second bedroom. Which is a lot of stuff in here, a lot of electronics. We've got quite a few VHSs, quite a lot VHSs actually. Cassette recorders, uh, even down here. Wow. Nuts. Two seconds. This whole battery's here, look, a whole bank of them. Which is pretty amazing. dresser. This is a huge bay window as well. And uh, as you'll see at the top here, it's all peeling away at the top there. A nice big flat screen TV. So I'll show you this old radio here. Again, more VHSs. It's nuts to understand why so many. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. The dressing table is very nice. Wow, well, yeah. As Meg said, look at the view out of this window. Oh, that look, oh God, there's a wasp there. Loads of wasps. There's probably a wasp's nest yeah. somewhere. They got the old picture up here, the old boy in the teddy. And look, as you'll see, the roof is damaged, it's coming down. Looks like two single beds. And we have an electric fireplace along here. With these marbles and little statues. Tell you what I do like though as well, is these lights again. It makes it look very nice. The whole room looks nice. Oh, so we're still back out on the landing actually. Back out on the landing here. And it is just TV galore, as you'll see. It's absolutely crazy, got that rug. That sits there over the banister. These little bird emblems next to the light. It's quite a nice little stool there, especially that radio as well. I do like that. And look at this floral piece with the lights. It's really nice. We've got this on the wall as we come into this bedroom. Or should we say storage room? We've got the wardrobes and a lot of the old boxes here. And this I have to say, it's probably one of my favourite things. High class certificates, high class cookery, domestic cookery, a housekeeper certificate there. And those old pictures hanging up, beautiful. And then, for some reason, TV aerial. I've got another old picture up here. I'm going to walk across to and just show you. Look at that. Tell you what, I'll 
me to this last room here, which again, lovely single bed. Look at these wasps. Wow. There was a wasp's nest in this one. This paper dating back to January 8th, 1990. Looks like this is where they stored stuff, possibly. Lovely little dresser down there again. Dresser. It is a dressing table, isn't it? Where you do yourself up. There's little figurines. You've got this single bed. Gosh, show this picture. Come back. See this set of drawers along here. Looks like something taxidermy should have been in that case. And is that possibly? No, it's a light. It's a lamp. And then there's another little fireplace in here. Look at that. It's got that hunter's cover up there. And these beautiful pieces sat on top. Down to this old school Hoover. Reminds me of like a 70s Hoover. 